Alright, here is the unboxing of Epic Card Game. Just got in the mail yesterday, so I'm excited to take a look at it and see what everything looks like. See if I can get it open without uh, damaging the box too much. More fun plastic wrap inside. There's the box. Put that to the side. A little rule book. It's got some, uh, I'm sure, good reading inside of there so that I can figure out how to actually play it. The thing that's really exciting, of course, is the cards. Let's take a look at those. See what they look like. I haven't really looked at this a whole lot. I just know that I enjoy some sweet, sweet card games. So, what all is in here? This is... There we go. Amnesia. Banished target player's discard pile. Recycle or draw two cards. Alright. Always uh, good to get rid of some, some, uh, some cards from your opponents. Draw two cards. Can play, pay one, I would imagine, and recall when this card leaves your discard pile. Draw a card. Alright. Angel of Death. Sounds vicious. It is an airborne. And break all other champions. I'm not sure what that means. Cool though. I love the artwork. It's very fancy. An angel of light right there. I don't think I'm going to read out what's on the bottom there. We'll just hold it for a minute. Another angel. Looks like we've got a whole bunch of different angels in here. Which is pretty sweet. Can't argue with that. There's the background card that I have uh, on the video. Since I can't get my webcam to be exactly how I want it. Angel, Angelic Protector. We've got uh, Apocalypse. We have Army of the Apocalypse. Just in case having a total apocalypse is not enough for you. There's an army to go with it. Got some more angels. Love it. And we have a banishment. Good stuff. Then the monsters, those are the ones I like. Of course, I like them for Magic the Gathering, but, uh, you know, I'm sure this has kind of the same idea when it comes to green. Bitten, draw two cards. Alright. Zombie, evil zombie event, that sounds fun. There's some dragons, another airborne creature. Brave Squire. Alright. We got Burrowing Worm. Another exciting card. We got Cave Troll. Those are always vicious. Ceasefire. Nice type of Fog of War card, I would imagine. This is Chomp. Deal 12 damage to target champion. We have Corpse Taker. Pretty cool. And Courageous Soul. Crystal Golem. We have Dark Assassin. 
Dark Knight. You have your Dark Knight and your Dark Assassin together. And then a Dark Leader. I'm sure once I read the rule book, it'll make a whole lot more sense. Deadly Raid. You know, I've got to keep my uh, pile of sorted cards uh, nice and neat. Demon Breach. Then we have Divine Judgment. Draw two cards. The Gin of the Sands. Cool. Drain Essence. Drinker of Blood. Erase. Faithful Pegasus. Really good artwork. I'm really digging all of the bright colors and uh, really nice, nicely drawn artwork here that they have. Hopefully you guys can see that. Final task. Got Fire Shaman, Fireball, all right, Flame Strike, we got Flame, Flash Fire, there we go. Force Mage Apprentice, Forked Lightning, cool, cool, Frost Giant, got Gold Dragon, some more Dragon cards, Can never go wrong with those. We have Guilt Demon, Hasty Retreat, High Knight, Haunting Raptors, oh, Jurassic Park there. This guy looks like he uh, has them under control, kind of, so that they're probably going to eat him. But, you know, whatever. We have a hurricane. Which, that are works slightly confusing, but I'll pull through. We got uh, Ice Dragon. Infernal Gatekeeper. We have Inheritance of the Meek, we have Inner Demon, Inner Peace, only two inner cards, alright, Juggernaut, looks like some sort of mechanical slug or something. Got the Jungle Queen. Looks fun. We have Keeper of Secrets and Kong. Let's get that glare. There we go. Silly, nasty glare. We've got Lash.
And the lightning storm. And then we have Lord of the Arena. We've got a lurking giant. Have lying in wait. Medusa. Memory Spirit. Mighty Blow. Got Murderous Necromancer. Looks quite evil, actually. We've got uh, a Muse, of course. Got to have one of those in a game like this. We have the Necromancer Lord, who actually looks like a pretty decent guy, other than the skeletons behind him. He looks better than the uh, other Necromancer we just saw. And then here is a Noble Unicorn. Looks like he's trying to fight off some bad guys there. And then here is an Ogre Mercenary. This is Alpha Pack. Got some wolves there. We have the Wolf Pack, in fact. Palace Guard. It's like a basic, basic uh, card there. Plague. And Plentiful Dead. Priest of Kalnor. Priestess of Angeline. Psionic Assault. Pyromancer. Rage. Ah, Raging T Rex. Hopefully, he can reach whatever he needs with his mouth. And he doesn't need to pick it up. Rain of Fire. So the wolves are going to escape, but not the uh, the old T-Rex and the Minotaur. Rally of the people. I really think this far into reading off all the cards I would have learned where to hold it, but... No such luck! Rampaging Worm. Resurrection. Ah, bright lights! Sea Hydra. Oh, that one has a lot of text on it. We'll hold it there for a minute longer. Got Sea Titan. Alright. Next up is Secret Legion. We've got Soul Hunter. Spike Trap. Stand Alone. Standard Bearer. Steel Golem. Strafing Dragon. Succubus. Surprise Attack. 
people's champion. Hopefully he comes with the people's elbow somewhere. The Risen. Thought Plucker. Thrasher Demon. Thunderous. Thundarus. It's like a, oh, a good dragon. Not the not the mean kind of dragon. Just the good kind of dragon. Time Bender. Time Walker. Transform. Triceratops. Angels. We have angels, zombies, dinosaurs. Tri horror. Turn. Unquenchable Thirst Viper Lord Vital Mission Warrior Golem Watchful Gargoyle Wave of Transformation. A White Dragon. A White Knight. Winter Fairy. Wither. Wolf Companion Wolf's Call Word of Summoning Worm Hatchling Zombie Apocalypse Better than an apocalypse and a zombie apocalypse. I like it. And that appears to be, yes, the end of the regular cards. And we have some tokens here. Got a wolf on one side. And a zombie on the other. So we got one, two, three, four of those. And we have a demon token with... A human token on the other side, and four of those. And that is the stuff that came in this box. And then the Kickstarter reward I will open up. See what that looks like. Yeah, that's my dog thinking that the world is coming to some sort of an end. He does that often. He's a good guy, though. Real swell. He's decent, I like to say. Alright, got the plastic wrap off of that. And looks like we have... All sorts of interesting stuff in here. Well, anywho. We'll start here. So we have more wolf tokens with... A zombie on the back. And some more demon tokens with, I would imagine, a human. On the back. Alright. Got that out of the way. Alright, let's take a look and see what these special ones are. 
and our front the kick starter year one something. Alright, we got Aftershock. Cleansing Lights. Dark Prince. Elder Great Worm. Forbidden Research. Ooh, let's get close enough. There we go. Hill Giant. Haunting Petasaur. Petr. Oh, hunt, hunt, Jesus. Hunting Pterosaur. If only I remembered how to read dinosaur names. And hunting. Alright, Inspiration. Kalnor's Blessing. Night of the Dawn. Cool, cool. Necromancer Apprentice. New Dawn. Didn't we kill off all the dinosaurs in the other cards? Anywho. Guess they came back. Nature finds a way. I like it. Ritual Sacrifice. Scrap Golem. Searing Blast. Sprite. Not green. Interesting. I get it, though. Teleport. Time Master. Warrior Angel. Owl Familiar. Not sure what these are. Ah, this has like rules on the back. If using demigod god cards, each player begins with one in play near their deck and it cannot be removed from play by any means. Each demigod has a power that can be played at any time its controller may play an event. Each demigod power may be used once on each player's turn. Ah, so these are like, I would imagine, commander, uh, what they call commander cards from Magic the Gathering. So, uh, Rick, Rixus, Dancer of Destruction. Uh, banish three cards from your discard pile. Deal three damage to a target. Shadya, the Shadow Walker. Banish two cards from your discard pile. Put a zombie token into play. Tarkin the Wise. Banish four cards from your discard pile. Draw a card. Valentina, Justice Bringer. Banish one card from your discard pile. Put a plus one plus one target on counter on target champion, the elder one. At the start of your turn, either return target champion to its owner's hand, and that player discards a card, or put two zombie tokens into play and gain four health. Furos, Furos the father. Uh, Firos, Father Nature, at the start of your turn, either gain 10 health or deal 6 damage to a target. Oh, this is a this is an Elder God. So this is different. This Elder God card begins in play near your deck and cannot be removed from play by any means. You be Begin the game at 90 health with a 6 card hand and with 8 card maximum hand size. You can use Elder God cards against another Elder God or against a Hydra team of 3 players. At the start of your turn, draw an extra card and gain an extra 1. At the start of your opponent's turn, gain an extra 1. I see. Helena the Valiant. 
At the start of your turn, either put six human tokens into play with Blitz, or expend all opponent's champions. Zal Tessa, the Huntress. At the start of your turn, either put four wolf tokens into play with Blitz, or break target champion. Alright, and that is all the cards that came with Epic Card Game. Thanks for watching, and we'll maybe do it again sometime.